Hello guys, so today I'm going to do episode 3 of the Shelter of the Vigo career mode. We started off with some training, a B, a C, a C, another C and a D. Regoni gets an upgrade in some stats and Guidetti gets really close to uh, going up in a rating from 74 to 75. Here we have a game against uh, FC Barcelona, which is a really, really big game. Uh, it's two days after the last game against Sevilla, I think, and uh, here, yeah, I thought it was a penalty, I stopped playing, but uh, yeah. Uh, the player from Barcelona misses either way, and here we have a big, big chance for uh, for Rodrigo de Paul, uh, but he hits a keeper unfortunately, and uh, from that corner we score, but unfortunately it's a given as offside. Um, yeah, we're going to see in a minute. Well, I think he was. It's because he was behind the the keeper and. Uh, then it didn't matter if there was a defender behind it, but that's at least what I think. Here we have Orian on the ball, cuts inside nicely, and he, uh, yeah, I tried to uh, do a cross, but it didn't really work. And uh, then for the rebound, uh, Rodrigo de Paul misses. And here we have Nolito on the ball, cuts inside, and hits the keeper as well. We have a big, big uh, chance of winning this game so far. But maybe the second half will be a bit different. Here we have a chance for uh, Barcelona, Mascherano. In the 83rd minute uh, went up for it and uh, well first we cut it out and then it got back and uh, yeah if you don't uh, finish your own chances then uh, yeah your opponent uh, probably will here we have a game up against sd ibar uh, it's an away game and here we have a chance for nolito nolito in the 13th minute he cuts inside he gets taken down uh, yeah, pretty brutally but um, yeah that was a penalty uh, and uh, I think Nolito himself is going to take it here, you can see again, clear penalty, no discussion, uh, no discussion again I think. Um, yeah, here you can see Nolito is going to take the penalty himself. Um, yeah, Nolito has been uh, performing well and uh, yeah, here we can see if he scores his penalty and he does 1-0 for Celta de Vigo against Ibar. Uh, this is a game we really should win and uh, yeah, we do take the lead uh, early on, which is nice, uh, putting the pressure on them. Uh, here we have Rodrigo de Paul giving it to John Guidetti, who I was playing in this game, and uh, Guidetti is a keeper. Uh, yeah, here I went in for another low cross, um, yeah, the keeper uh, collects and uh, well, here is a big, big chance for uh, Ibar. It's posed twice and then the second rebound doesn't go in as well. Here we have Orellana on the ball, he's pretty tired. I decided to cut inside with a ball roll and uh, yeah, he uh, missed. Here we have Guidetti on the ball, but uh, yeah, he uh, apparently fouled uh, someone of Ibar, but that was the end of the game. Here you can see Rodrigo de Paul goes up in the rating and uh, Brigoni uh, grows in his stamina. The Paul, I think he's been performing uh, pretty well, but not outstanding. Uh, here we have a game up against Valencia. Valencia are a good team. I think, um, yeah, this will be an interesting game here. Uh, Valencia in the fourth minute already have a chance, but they do miss it. Uh, here we have Iago Aspas on the ball. It's not offside, and uh, yeah, he hits a keeper. Uh, he hits a keeper either way. But uh, here we have another chance for uh, Valencia. He hits the post from uh, pretty far out, it was a great job, but uh, that was how the game would finish as a 0-0 uh, draw. Here you can see Rigoni had his uh, stats, 76 curve already at 17 years of age, 79 to 94 potential, which is uh, really good, and uh, 62 overall. I'm going to end the episode here, um, yeah, it's a pretty short episode, but if you did like, uh, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.